So, you've decided to think about becoming an open water diver. That's great. The Paddy Open Water Diver course is the most globally recognised certification in the world. It qualifies you to dive up to 18 metres with another qualified diver, and it usually takes between three to four days to complete. Here at Diving Leisure London, we usually run the course over two weekends, so over four days. But we do have a variety of different options that you can see on our website. The open water course is comprised of three sections. The theory section, the confined water section, and the open water training dives. The theory part of the course uh, we do here at the shop. We have a classroom just down the back there, which we call the Deco Lounge, and we meet you here at 8.30 in the morning normally. Before the course begins, you get a crew pack like this, but there is also another option called e-learning, which again, you can find out a little bit more about on our website. The pack contains a manual, a DVD, and a logbook as well. And before the course, you're gonna go through this stuff and just make sure that you're happy and that you understand what we're gonna to talk to you about on the course. And then when we actually do the theory section here, we don't spend hours lecturing away and, and waffling away. What we do is we just go through the key points of this, just making sure that you've understood it all before we take you over to the swimming pool. So the confined water uh, skills section of the course, probably a bit easier to think about it as just going to the swimming pool, takes place in the afternoons. So we finish the theory at the shop here at around about midday, and then we head over to the swimming pool. We use a variety of different pools, but the one that we most commonly use is over in Southfields, and it's about 15 minutes away from the shop. It's 25 metres long, it's 3 metres deep, it's nice and warm, and there won't be loads of swimmers in there whilst we're there, so we get the whole pool to ourselves. And the whole uh, idea of the confined water section is just to gradually introduce you to the scuba skills. So we start off nice and simple, and then just slowly build on those through the afternoon and you'll do two afternoons of confined water skills on the course. So once you've completed the confined water section and also the theory, the last part of the course are the open water training dives. We run the open water training dives at a variety of different inland sites. And the reason that we use inland sites and that we don't go down to the coast is just simply down to the good old British weather. It means we can't always guarantee we're gonna be able to get out on a boat. So when we go to an inland site, it just makes for a much more relaxed and much more fruitful learning experience because we can get into the water when you're ready and we're ready and it makes for a much more relaxed teaching experience. On the open water training dives, you'll repeat some of the skills that you did in the confined water section. And the idea is just for us to make sure that you can apply the skills that you've learned in the swimming pool to now being out in open water. We always have small groups. We'll never have more than four students to one instructor and another assistant instructor. So it's practically a two to one ratio. Over the course of the weekend, you're gonna do four training dives. You do two on Saturday, and you do another two on the Sunday. And at the end of that, you'll be qualified.